in stroke care, time saved equals brain saved. But nationally, clot busting TPA is not given as often or as quickly as it could be. That's because of a real concern that despite its ability to reverse stroke, TPA given to the wrong patient could cause dangerous bleeding. This has created almost a schizophrenia in the ER community where some emergency room doctors feel that the benefits of the drug far outweigh the risks. Others feel the risks far outweigh the benefits. And what is really needed is a way to show for an individual patient what is their likelihood of a really good outcome with or without TPA or this clot-busting drug. That's where St. Luke's new Resolve tool can provide emergency doctors quick, patient-specific analysis. Resolve is the product of collaboration between St. Luke's and Tufts University. The research looked at data from more than 2,100 patients from five randomized clinical trials and verified in a sixth trial. The result is a model that can predict a patient's likely 90-day outcome based on TPA delivery. Here's how it works. An ED physician calls St. Luke's Doctors One Call and provides patient-specific data, including last time known well, age, systolic blood pressure, diabetes, current glucose, and stroke severity. That information is entered into the Resolve program. Once it's run, it is it accelerates the decision-making process that the physician normally has to go through because they spend so much time wrestling and trying to integrate these things on their own. Here, all they have to really do is look at the data and then think if there are any other extenuating circumstances around this patient that might support or contraindicate treatment. In a matter of moments, the Resolve tool generates a multi-page report faxed directly to the referring ED. At St. Luke's Hospital, we do stroke care multiple times a day and it becomes very routine for us because of that, that frequency. But oftentimes in the smaller setting, that's not the case, and it may, they may go weeks between uh, having stroke patients. And we want to make sure that they have the same resources available to them and can provide that same standard of care in the smaller hospital setting that we can do in the larger tertiary care center. The Resolve report estimates a patient's likely 90-day outcomes with and without TPA. A good outcome means functional independence at 90 days, a modified ranking of 0 to 2. A bad outcome means severe disability or death at 90 days, a modified ranking of 5 to 6. Physicians really like data and they like evidence-based medicine. And when you have that data in front of you in black and white form, it's a very powerful tool to know what those outcomes are going to be for your patient. Well, I think the Resolve tool helps everybody to be on the same page and to share in the decision making between the emergency room doctor in a smaller town in rural Missouri and the neurologist at St. Luke's Hospital, but it also helps bring in the patient and their family into that decision making process. St. Luke's Stroke Program receives patients from more than 80 hospitals across the region. When a patient's originating hospital can accurately diagnose and begin stroke treatment before transfer, long-term outcomes improve dramatically. So the earlier you can administer the TPA, the more likely you are to save millions of brain cells and therefore have a better outcome after the treatment. St. Luke's reminds you to resolve to help stroke patients in four easy steps. Call Doctors One Call and provide patient-specific data. Our team runs the model and faxes a written report. Use that report to discuss treatment options with our on-call neurologist. Discuss the risks and benefits of TPA with your patient and patient's family. So now they have a roadmap to help them understand for this particular patient, what are the most salient issues to consider and how do those translate into outcomes. And it actually should be very helpful in making the right decisions. And our challenge is creating the demand in the country for those kinds of tools. And when they're ready for those tools in stroke care, we have a perfect solution for them. Learn more at stlukeskc.org resolve.